I don't know how it happened or when or why or who. First, it started off with my chair. Then it was the night table. And then it moved to the closet. And now it's spilling out and it's consumed the floor. It's affected my family. Why are you doing Shoot. this? I think it's embarrassing. You need Just it. Just don't know what I'm gonna need it for. You need it. No! Living with a hoarder is absolute hell. I find it disgusting. And it gives me anxiety to walk inside her room. I can never find what I'm looking for, and half the time, I find my belongings on her floor. This is my living nightmare. I, I am a hoarder. Hey everyone. I'm Mel, also known as Mains by Mel. Today we're not doing any mains. Today we're tidying up. In the spirit of spring cleaning, it is time that I get my together. See, I don't know if I would consider myself a hoarder, but I am definitely a hot mess. So join me today. I'm going to be using Marie Kondo's methods that I saw while watching her show on Netflix and clean up my mess with my sister, because I'm definitely gonna need some help, teamwork, Hopefully make this dream work. All right, let's go. Oh, so we're gonna start at the beginning, as Marie Kondo says. I'm gonna start off with the clothes, which is the mass of the mess that I have, and we're going to lay everything I own out in front of me. So the next step, once you have everything laid out in front of you, is Marie says you go through each individual item one by one, see if it sparks joy for you, if it gives you a feeling of happiness. And anything that doesn't spark joy for me probably spark joy for someone else. So off. I will donate it. It's time to say goodbye. As Marie says, you have to go through each item one by one. Hold it in your hands. Those are mine. Those are yours. <laughs> okay, I was looking for those. <laughs> Talk to it. Hug it. Love it. See how it feels. And if there's just no love, then you just throw it away. Okay. What is that? We got it on vacation for free from a timeshare meeting. So it gives you joy? That's a keeper. I'm over this skirt. I've had this skirt for like eight years. <laughs> this is new. I wore it, but I kept the tag on. So I have to keep this. I guess this is ours. So I also mine. Keep it. Ours. Okay, sure. Okay, I feel really itchy. There's dust floating everywhere. Honestly, no. The towel. Do you still want this? Yes. That's mine. <laughs> Sorry. This is a fun shirt. It says, official member of the Piss and Mungo <laughs> Everything Club. <laughs> this you have to keep that. That's for me, Joy. We really have to go through this together because half the shit. Mine. And mine that you wear okay, too. These, these two things that I just pulled out just from standing here. These are both mine. Okay, this is something that I really struggle with. I have so many clothes that I haven't worn in years. Just because of the memories that they hold. And not all of them are good. So through this exercise, hopefully I will just be able to let go. It's true, if it doesn't spark joy for you, it's not for you. All right, so four and a half donation bags later, I'm left with the good stuff. Now the next important thing that Marie says you need to do is give everything a place. It should always be a designated area for each category of things. And Amanda's usually better at this, so. So first what we're gonna do before we start putting things into drawers and allocating where each thing should be, we are going to divide all the clothing up into categories. So we're going to divide our t-shirts and summer shirts into one spot, our sweaters and long sleeve shirts into another. Work clothes, we're going to have track pants, leggings, sweaters, and we're going to divide all that stuff up. So now we've made a lot of space and we have designated areas to put things. So what we have to do now is fold the things so we can put them away. My favorite part. So Marie has a very special and very specific method when it comes to folding. She likes to fold everything so it stands up. That way you can maximize space and you can see everything that you have laid out in front of you. And she does it like this. So you take your item and you splay it across a flat 
surface. Spread it out. Give it lots of love. You want to make everything one long schlong. So you fold it in thirds and then you fold it again um, and again and it stands up. That's how you do it. Let's try another garment. Let's try my PJ pants. I actually don't know how she folds pants. I didn't get that far. But if she folded them, she'd probably fold them like this. God damn it, Marie, I need you! Do you feel good that you let some of that stuff go? I want to say I feel good, but I don't feel bad. I held on to this stuff for so long because I always thought that one day it would have a purpose. But after so many years, so many wears, it's just not needed anymore. So I say goodbye to a lot of things that I realistically said goodbye to a long time ago. I was just holding on, just in case. What I do feel good about is all the extra room for activities I'm going to have. And I guess it's nice to see the floor again. Even though it was the mess that it was, it was my mess. I understood it. I knew where things were amongst the chaos. Like everything on the floor was things I frequently wear. And everything in the drawers was things I never wear. <laughs> that needed to go. It'll be better like this. Do you find your messy room affects your daily functioning? I mean, when I can't find something that I need, yeah. Why do you think it's appropriate that you're eating during this interview? Well, because I'm hungry. How long do you think it will take until this room becomes a disaster again? About a week. <laughs> no. Can you put the pillows nice? I don't know uh, how to do it. Seriously? Yeah, there you go. After what has felt like 36 hours, this is my new crib. Wow! Looks like I've got to go shopping! And that is how it's done. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I'm sure you all enjoyed seeing me at my worst. But now I'm at my best. Fresh to death. I'll keep you guys updated how long this lasts. So I'm going to need to give Marie Kondo a huge shout out. Because without your series on Netflix, I don't know where I would be today. And of course, Emily Leonardo, shout out to you for your positive comment of the week. And as for our question of the week, we are hearing from Stephanie Mikado is asking, what color is your hair? I know it's blonde, LOL, but what type of blonde? So I consider it, everyone sees color differently, but this is definitely more on the warm side. It's more golden. It's even a little honey up here. All right guys, that is all. I'm gonna go take a nap. Hi, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope I inspired the season of spring cleaning because it's definitely time. Clean up your act, okay? I love you guys so much and we will see you next and every Tuesday with a brand new video. Peace. You keep things that are sentimental to you, but no, when I it's don't. sentimental to me. No, I don't. Yeah? You don't need these. Ow! My hair fell on my foot. Ew. What? It's like sand. No, it's, it's not. It's very dirty. <laughs> Ew. There's sand under my nails now. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. I wanna throw up. Oh my god. I'm not dirty. I'm just disorganized. You're dirty. Cleaning up with sissy condo. I see sister. But you! You're doing it wrong. <laughs> Not deep enough. <laughs> Look, Marie, I'm sorry, but 
shit like this. These articles are too small. They end up here. I don't even know what's are mine and what's are not. <laughs> I can't even speak English anymore. Marie!